Well, I'm back again. Um, you know, I talk about having fun on the lathe, and that's what I usually do. But I also have fun mirroring some patterns. And I'm using my tops as, as a focal point for splitting these up. And I'm using software just for, the, just for having fun and, and playing and playing and playing. So here's some, a few of them that I've done. And it starts with one of my tops. The tops I just showed you is how I've broken them up. And if we look at the, uh, the top, here's where I've squeezed it together, mirroring it by squeezing it, separating it, doubling it, it turns into this. But I've also twisted it. So I have some software that I, I create patterns that are non-existent. And they never will be on a pattern, but on a print or on a, a screen, they're here. This is more doubling. This is adding a center one on top of a doubling so I can layer them. You just have fun. And it's just, just, I just totally get, enjoy playing with one pattern. So I've just used a few tops which you can relate to. Here's the top here. And these turned out quite Egyptian-like. And, and I would like to have a rosette to do these, but it's never going to happen. So what do I do with these? Use them as a screensaver, things like that. But you can fold them, twist them, kaleidoscope them, and it's just playing around. And that's what I like doing. But I'm just showing you some examples of what I've done. I like this one. Uh, I like this one because I made uh, the heart in the center by twisting it, this is splitting it, lengthening it, tripling it, squeezing it together again, doubling it, but layering it on top of another. And I do like the heart in the center and a couple of eyeballs. Kind of look a little freaky, but it's just playing. Uh, this one here again, it started out as a top up here. And it kind of looks like an owl's head or something. But there's so many different patterns you can come up with of each little piece of your rosette pattern that you've created. So I'm just finding ways to do it. Uh, the bottom one shows a, a long border, which I used it in some of my other work as bordering all the way around, centering the, the main picture. But I'm just playing again. Uh, here's another one where you can see it. And then I doubled it and then slowly created the bordering. And it's quite unique. It, it'll never be a piece of wood or on a box unless I want to make it into something. Here's a few other examples of just the, the mirroring. If you just mirror it, it come out kind of nice. And a few more. Quite unique. Uh, and that, you can add colors and play around all you want. And here's one of one of my tops where I, I repeated it all the way across. And I have that top, that was in my other presentation. And it just spread out and it looks kind of nice. So that's all I've got on that. Uh, I, be I believe it's mirror play. It's mirror play. It's, it's an app. I can show you it. Uh, it's on my phone.